All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to go over one of your problems. Let's see, seven fours tonight's lesson. Let's try number 39. All right, 39, here we go. 3x squared minus 19x plus 20. 3x squared minus 19x plus 20. Okay, with this, this isn't something where it's x squared plus bx plus c. This is ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? That's what we're talking about right here. That a is the part that gives everyone such a hard time. That throws a whole other wrench in the mix. Many, many problems for many people. So let's take a look at this. Is it there? No. Where did this go with this? Oh, beautiful. Okay. So we're looking for something where, you know, probably, more than likely, um, two binomials multiplied together, where the n numbers, the L and the foil, if you will, multiply to be 20, and the front numbers multiply to be three, and when those are multiplied amongst each other, the outside and the insides multiply to add together, must add to negative 19, okay? Those things must be true. So in that case, you need to find a lot of factor. What, there's a lot of possibilities for 20, okay? You could say one times 20, and that's what everyone's gonna say automatically. Oh, one in 20, because 20 minus one is 19, easy peasy. But that's not gonna work, because the only way it will be 20 minus one is if one's negative, one's positive, Okay, and then that would end up being, that would be a negative number. So that's not gonna work. Also, we're not taking into account this front loaded three here, the coefficient for the first term. So at any rate, um, the best thing to do is just start listing factors. You don't have to list every one, eh, maybe you do. But I'm just gonna list a couple, I'm just gonna crap shoot it, all right? So obviously it's three and one, right? Three times one. And let's see, for 20, five and four. And we can reverse it, four and five. That makes a difference too, actually, all right? Um, let's try another one down here. Three, two and 10. All right, two, let's see, this will be three times one. Okay, so obviously the x, e, right? You almost don't even need to write that at this point. Um, you just work in and out in your head. You got these factors kind of listed and find out how, what, what they're gonna end up. Five times four is 20, checks out. Three times one is three, checks out. Five times one is five, four times three is 12, right? Five and 12 is 17, not gonna cut it, okay? Oh, and another thing, another thing we know, we know that no matter what, they're both gonna be negative, okay? Because negative times negative is positive, and that's the only thing you can get multiplying to be a positive, added together to be negative, is negative times a negative. So we know they're both minuses, all right? Um, not a perfect square, because that's not a perfect square. So we already tried it and said no to this one, right? I'm just gonna write no. Or doesn't work, DW. Doesn't work. That one from, what's that show? Arthur, DW is a little sister. All right, this one. Uh, 3x minus 4, x minus 5. See, 3x minus 4, x minus 5. See if that works. 3 times 1, yep. Negative 4 times negative 5, yep. Negative four times one is negative four. Negative five times three is negative 15. Negative four, negative 15, negative 19. That works already, okay? Works. So now you can finish the job. Three x minus four, x minus five, all right? Multiply that one more time just to check. Three x uh, times x is three x squared minus four x minus 15x, right? That's minus 19x. Excellent. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Negative four times negative five is 20. 
Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. Um, one more? Okay, why not? Pick a number. 17. I hate 17. That's not the standard. All right, the one you guys had to struggle with. 32. Let's check your homework. What was your homework tonight? 14 to 34. Is it 32? I said 32 was your workout. That's guess and check. You guys can do that. All right. 34. Let's do 34 for you. You watch and you get free homework tonight. How about that? 34. 6x squared plus 23x plus 7. 6x squared plus 23x plus 7. Huh. 7 to 6 is 13. That's not 23. I don't know what's a, huh. That doesn't help me at all. Okay. So, the same thing we've done on the previous page. Uh, write some things that might work. Okay? Front loaded factors, rear loaded factors. Okay? 6 could be. 6 times 1, it could be 3 times 2, all right? It could be 2 times 3. I'm going to try a couple. You don't list all of them and then go through, because what if you got like I did on the previous page? What if you got lucky? Second one, bam, done, right? Then all those other ones, that one's a waste of time, but everyone's got a busy life. If you can get the answer quick, excellent, all right? So anyway, back to normal. I'm going to try three, and if it doesn't work, I'll just keep going. Um, seven, so many different factors. We could do one and seven. I'm going to do one and seven all the way down, okay? And then in my head, I might flip the seven and one, see if that helps. All right? So things that multiply one times seven. Oh, and these are obviously all going to be positive. All right? I almost don't even have to write it because it confuses but doing it anyways, be thorough. One times seven is seven, great. One times one is one. Seven times six is 42. 42, not's not gonna work. Okay, one times two is two. Seven times three, 21. Whoa, is it the second one two times in a row? If so, I have to give myself time in the back. I just picked that one out of the blue, swear to God. First one, not so much. All right, look, oh, I might have had it. Three times two is six, yes. 3x, 2x, 6x squared, excellent. 1 times 7 is 7, great. 1 times 2x is 2x, and 7 times 3 is 21x, 2x, oh, excellent. <laughs> excellent, get it? 3x plus 1, 2x plus 7, bam, that's it. Horribly written, mind you, but it's right. Okay, that is it, that works. Okay, I'm hoping this helped a little bit. Uh, it helped me, so I'm hoping it helped you guys. Have a wonderful night. Go to college. Best way to stay from being homeless. All right, have a good night, guys. Happy homework day. I'm gonna walk around in circles till I press the off button.